Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the competition of semiconductor photonics, cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, 6G, and driverless driving have already begun. Industry insiders predict that if NVIDIA can control the field of photonics, it will surpass NVIDIA in the field of AI chips and gain greater advantages. The Japanese Ministry of Economic Affairs has recently invested in the semiconductor industry in Kaishu, Tohoku, and Hokkaido, with the aim of revitalizing Japan's semiconductor industry. Japan also regards optoelectronic technology as its important position in the semiconductor industry. The Japanese Ministry of Economic Affairs proposed that Japan is adjusting the semiconductor industry in accordance with a three-step route. The first step is to ensure the country's production capacity, the second step is to build a new generation of semiconductor technology, and the third step is to lay a global base for future technology. Japan plans to focus on the development of optoelectronic devices in the third period to restore its leading position in the semiconductor industry. In addition to the Japanese government's strong investment, the public also has a positive view of the development of the semiconductor optoelectronics industry. NTT, Japan's largest telecommunications company, is working with local Japanese companies, Korean and American companies, to jointly develop the core technology of the IOWN, New Generation Communication Platform Optical Semiconductors. IOWN is expected to be applied to 6G, which is expected to be widely used in 2030. To achieve this goal, light must be used to replace traditional electronic methods while reducing energy consumption. Among these partners are Japanese companies such as semiconductor substrate manufacturer Shinko Electric Industry, semiconductor memory manufacturer Jishing Electronics, American computer semiconductor company Intel, and memory semiconductor Korean company SK Hynix. South Korea will also continue to work on the development and commercialization of optoelectronic materials. In 2022, the Korea Electronics and Telecommunications Research Institute developed a silicon-based semiconductor chip that can transmit data at 100 bit s 100 gigabits per second per second. This speed is twice as fast as current semiconductor chips. Based on the basic photonics process, the applicant team developed a 100 gigabits per second high-speed optical transceiver module that can support data transmission over 2 kilometers and designed an optical interconnect module to interconnect four channels to reach 400 gigabits per second and verified its availability. In 2023, a research team led by Professor Kim Sang-sik of the Department of Electronics at the Korea Institute of Science and Technology proposed a new optical coupling mechanism for the first time based on it, which can increase the integration of optoelectronic devices by more than 100 times. Higher semiconductor integration means more computing and cheaper processing costs. However, the fluctuation of light causes the optical signals between devices to interfere with each other, making device integration difficult. Our team has found a new optical coupling mechanism and developed a new method to enhance the integration of devices under polarization. The significance of this research is that we used leaky waves, which were previously expected to lead to enhanced optical chaos, instead of chaos, said Professor Kim. If we apply the leaky waves obtained in this work to optical coupling technology, we can develop various types of semiconductor optical devices with smaller sizes and lower noise. The Nanotechnology Guidance Center of the Southwest Business Center of the Korea Institute of Industrial Technology, KITI, has recently completed a high-value-added optical semiconductor industrialization demonstration project with MEMS for MEMS as the core, and it has now been officially put into operation. From June 2020 to September last year, the plan invested a total of 8 billion won, including 6.9 billion won and 2.9 billion won from local grants. The purpose is to promote the development of the optical semiconductor industry and build an optical semiconductor R&D verification, testing and evaluation system with microelectromechanical systems as the core. On this basis, 
8-inch plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition, PECVD, high-speed etching deep RIE, exposure stepper, and other 8-inch equipment were added to form a complete assembly line. The implementation of this project will greatly enhance the application level of Chinese small and medium-sized enterprises in optoelectronic devices, 5G and other 5G-related products. Zhong Kishintong, China's first optical chip manufacturing company, announced that it will establish China's first optical chip manufacturing company in Tianjin at the end of 2023. The project is scheduled to be fully put into use in 2025 and will provide foundry services for thin film materials such as lithium niobate and silicon nitride for customers in optical communications, data centers, artificial intelligence, microwave photonics, unmanned vehicles, biosensors, quantum information, and other industries. A research team from Tsinghua University claims that it has successfully developed an Excel chip that uses photonic technology to improve performance and reduce power consumption. Developed by its research team, Chinese Semiconductor Foundry SMIC, SMIC has achieved 4.6 billion floating-point operations PFLOPs, in a laboratory environment using more than 20 years of traditional processes. The 1 billion particle filter, PF, operates at a speed of 1,000 trillion operations per second, which is more than 3,000 times faster than NVIDIA's A100 GPU. It saves energy and reduces consumption, and the energy saving effect is significant. Researchers say that Excel can work continuously for 500 years, using only one hour of electricity from existing semiconductors. The less power consumed, the less heat generated. Reducing heat generation helps miniaturization of products. It is generally believed that such a chip will be difficult to put on the market immediately, but as technology develops, it will be used in cutting-edge technology fields such as wearable devices, electric vehicles and smart factories. At the same time, people are also studying how to mass-produce photonic semiconductors. It is reported that the research and development team of the Shanghai Institute of Microelectronics and Information Technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has developed a process for mass-produced optoelectronic devices. Existing photonic chips mostly use lithium niobate, which is difficult to prepare and develop slowly. To this end, Researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences selected a single crystal thin film similar to lithium niobate and simple to prepare lithium tantalate. Lithium tantalate is a crystal material with broad application prospects in ultrasonic generators, optical switches, lasers, etc. Based on the above work, the research team used a heterostructure process to prepare high quality silicon based lithium tantalate thin film chips. On this basis, this project intends to develop a set of ultra-high loss lithium tantalate optical components based on micro-nano processing technology and apply this technology to the preparation of lithium tantalate photonic chips. TSMC is currently developing silicon-based optoelectronics and packaging technology with large semiconductor manufacturers such as NVIDIA and Broadcom. TSMC has formed more than 200 R&D personnel to work on the research and development of this technology. According to industry news, the company is expected to go into production this year or early next year. In 2016, Intel released an optical transceiver based on silicon photonics technology, which can transmit 100-bit S of data on optical cables. In addition to the existing silicon-based optical research, and development platform, Intel will also work closely with Israeli semiconductor company Tower Semiconductor to become one of the world's largest optoelectronics industries. Israeli semiconductor company Tower Semiconductor is a company specializing in the development of analog semiconductors.